my screen and uh, some slides I'm trying to explain this uh, triune arc gateway so I didn't know what was happening you know I kept seeing this image of like the 15th dimension here's the 13th dimension this is the second dimension and this arc you know so um, that's what I kept seeing and so this is uh, the arc here and obviously this is a very simplified image um, so it's not showing all the dimensions it's just showing the the like the most um, s relevant part of where the most activity is going on you know at this time so uh, you know again the 15th dimension um, uh, uh, there was a there's been a father arc gateway through the 15th dimension and through the 13th dimension a mother arc you know gateway so what we've been experiencing is um, uh, where the mother arc particularly was that gateway was uh, completely taken over um, and so uh, when you control the mother you control creation you know the feminine aspect is uh, about creation and creating and um, the 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 access into even the quantum field so when you take that over um, and you can overlay like black magic grids and you know or a dark mother a reversal mother then um, it's proliferated uh, a 3d consciousness and reversals and then obviously then you know the father the masculine also then operates out of balance so you know you have a system where the masculine is uh, uh, warlike and um, domineering and you have uh, the feminine who is then um, misogynized and uh, and you know when you control uh, the mother and you control creation then uh, they've been able to implant all these other artificial uh, grid networks and uh, different types of um, multi-dimensional AI technology to uh, create inverted systems and um, extreme polarity so this is what we've been existing and obviously this is a, it's a very very short um, description here so um, so what's happening now as more has opened up um, it's not just that uh, the mother arc gateway was uh, corrected and uh, the father arc gateway, you know, has opened up into the uh, seven higher heavens. But um, now what came online is a 16th, 17th and 18th dimension. So, um, you know, and I still remember in 2016 um, during a meditation, like Sammy dropped the, uh, the 16th 17th and 18th chakras into my hands you know and I was like what do I do with this I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this but you know I didn't know that that was uh, this was part of you know a process that's been um, ongoing so um, uh, they autists or you know Samantha and others like her uh, obviously it seems like they had access to the 16th 17th and 18th dimensions um, you know all along with these with the kind of um, a covert plan let's say you know they're kind of in disguise nobody thought that um, these humans that looked very disheveled and dysfunctional uh, could be really these very vast souls here on um, let's say a covert operation so this is what they kind of been have been doing all along you know and then they they access into the seven higher heavens um, directly through their soul so this has all been kind of you know kind of in the works so the um, I'm taking a pause here yeah my it said my internet was unstable so I uh, pause for a second so um, what's happening now is is not that just the human blueprint the 12 dimensional human blueprint has been returned to us it's actually um, even a different blueprint uh, an upgrade upgraded blueprint and I say upgraded because our human bodies are cosmic and we connect through our physical body we connect into um, dimensions so like the the root 
is connects into the first dimension. The sacral connects into the, the second dimension, um, and so on. Uh, and um, we actually use um, a 16th, 17th, and 18th uh, uh, chakras as well. Um, you know, Sammy, Sammy showed me you know how to do that a, a few years ago. Um, so you know, we we connect into uh, connect into 18 dimensions. And um, uh, the second dimension is becoming um, more of an antiparticle uh, dimension or an anti antimatter. So we have seven chakras that have been like what we call, would call particle, and then um, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve have been uh, the antiparticle uh, uh, chakras. So. You know, because we're 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 matter and we're antimatter, and when that when it comes together, you know, then we can manifest in these you know forms and these bodies. Obviously, it's much more complex than that, um, but uh, that's how we've always been. Um, otherwise, we wouldn't be here. But our awareness has been in the lower three sh chakras, where the ego matrix is, and um, you know we tend to get gratification from the outside world, validation from the outside world, um, and all our uh, information we were supposed to rely on from the outside world. So anyway, um, the second dimension is really undergoing uh, probably the biggest changes, uh, you know, for us. And so that means our sacral, because our sacral is 2D, um, is also going to undergo a lot of changes as we connect uh differently into um, the cosmos because uh, and we have to reflect a different cosmic body since the cosmic cosmos um, is our, the cosmos of our human reality is now is now changing so um, instead of a father arc and a mother arc uh, what I was seeing was that this um, this new arc is being built and how it's being built is that from the seven higher heavens they uh, see they created this um, I don't know I'll just call it a star or a, a vortex wheel that's emanating out and they are spinning out rays uh, that then changes uh, the 15th dimension um, and, uh, the center point seems to be the, uh, the 2D right now. And so the, the mother arc is also changing, or the 13th dimension is also undergoing changes. And, uh, this, it's like a, a sage, metallic sage green energy from the seven higher heavens, um, that is stabilizing this new uh, arc gateway. So I was guided to use these specific colors for uh, 17D, 18D, and uh, 16D here. So now this is not, I don't know what the final is going to look like. So this is kind of uh, just saying that this is what's happening. It's under, it's under construction. So instead of having this father arc and this mother arc, now it's three in one, th all three access into that sixth harmonic universe of 16th, 17th, and 18th dimensions, and also um, connection with Holy Father and Holy Mother is now going to be all in this one arc gateway, and um, this just means that even in uh, 2D, our connection to Holy Father and Holy Mother uh, is undergoing some uh, changes. So again, I'm not sure. I don't know exactly what the final is going to look like, but this is uh, what what is happening. And this uh, 24 pointed star um, is uh, surrounds that 2D second dimensional uh, access point to help make the changes. And oh, because my internet's unstable again. Okay, I hope I'm back. Um, and if anybody is chatting, oh, you know, somebody had to chat up here. Yeah. Uh, somebody. Okay, Root has been buzzing a lot the past week. Yeah. 
Okay, okay, she, all right, thanks. I just wanted to check that you can hear me. Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah, so now, you know, because our um, dimensions, they operate in threes, they're organized in threes, so the first, second, and third dimension is harmonic universe one, fourth, fifth, and sixth is harmonic universe two, uh, third harmonic universe is uh, dimension seven, eight, and nine, and then the uh, fourth harmonic universe is 10, 11, 12. And so now we have the sixth harmonic universe, which is 16, 17, and 18. So you change one of them, right? Especially um, the second dimension, then yeah, it's gonna start to, it's gonna start to cause um, disruptions in, even in the root and the, um, the solar plexus. So, uh, this is where the major changes are, are happening, uh, but it's it's causing changes in the entire uh, universal architecture. And part of that is also because there's a new law of structure. There is um, the new God's infinite language of mathematics and calculus is, uh, is different. So that means, you know, our, our bodies are structured according to uh, kinds of fractal um, geometries and mathematics and so uh, we're we're getting upgrades uh, based on that and our, uh, our DNA is and genes are also responding to these changes so the founder races are um, active and participating in this to uh, activate our epigenetic material that is being thrown out as junk um, and anything that was called junk DNA uh, is being reassembled, some disassembled. Um, so there's there's just a lot, you know, going on, and a lot is going to happen to our physical bodies, which is why in 2022, um, you know, again, this year I think has been a lot about self care, and so um, I think self care is still going to be important in 2022. 20, uh, uh, lots of feeling tired and um, needing rest and recalibrating often. So, um, you know, that's that's coming up. Let's see. Let's go to the next slide and show you a different slide. There we go. So this is um, kind of a different view, let's say. So um, I'm not showing the other dimensions, just the ones, you know, here. So uh, where's my cursor? So 2D would be maybe, you know, the first harmonic universe would might be somewhere here and the fifth harmonic universe would be like you know about here so um, this is that uh, spiral um, or vortex that's spinning out from the uh, seven higher heavens and this is that uh, kind of metallic uh, green sage green uh, energy that is, um, it's from the Council of Twelve, you know, those Twelve Galactic Suns where the kids, um, that the kids talk about and that they're quote from. Carl, is everything okay? Okay, my husband just walked in there, I just wanted to make sure that maybe there wasn't something going on with the, my computer or something out there. Um, so, you know, there are, there are big, big things happening. And so, even in the fifth, uh, the fifteenth dimension, there are adaptations and changes uh, being taking place, and um, also in uh, the thirteenth dimension, and uh, well, obviously the thirteenth, fourteenth, and fifteenth dimensions are also going through changes and um, and adjustments. So um, let's see if I can get to the next slide. So this is um, something that I uh, drew in the last day she seems to be um she doesn't quite feel a lyran but she's something something close to being a lyran but a, a goddess in these um that in that uh fifth harmonic universe um and she is uh working on the changes um that's uh taking place to the uh uh, 13th 14th and 15th dimensions and a lot of uh, 
like this metallic tanzanite energy. I know it looks kind of um, like uh, amethyst. So tanzanite is um, uh, what what I was told is like a, a much more refined kind of amethyst uh, energy. There's uh, a lot going on in the sense of um, even the, the patterning, the energy, subtle patterning uh, of the entire universe. There's a lot of um, energy, very, very refined energy strands, uh, fractal energy um, that looks coral-like to me, that looks like it's coral, uh, kind of that salmon pinkish orangey color and so the background um, in this image is is that kind of color so um, the third eye is uh, very active in this in this image and uh, those of you who are drawn um, to work with her especially in 2022 because you know like I said in the last um, last month is that our, our third eye is going to go through a lot of changes um, but so is our uh, sacral you know based on what's happening in the universe our uh, sacral is also going going to go through a lot of changes and our relationship uh, with the universal structure and um, for some the omniversal uh, structure is, is going to undergo a lot of changes so um, for some the Pleiadian Pleiadian light ship uh, technology is is coming is playing a role oh okay so she's saying um, uh, the, the Pleiadian technology is going to be important next year as well um, Kind of for everybody because uh, of a level of heart coherence and over soul coherence that um, is needed uh, to be stabilized on the planet as a human collective consciousness and um, this is going to assist in working with the changes to the sacral and the changes to the third I and it also works then with um, the hypercube technology um, which in a sense is hyperdimensional uh, because it's working with the uh, harmonics of those sound fields from that sixth harmonic universe so that's um, a big part of what this hypercube technology is is uh, bringing um, and she's saying also being seated on the the planet are um, new waves of technological advancements um, technological innovations to um, not just your current technology but uh, also um, omniversal and universal technologies that are going to become more easily um, accessible um, there are some star seeds already here uh, who know that, and she's saying you've uh, you've put you put that information for yourself in interdimensional spaces. Oh, that's cool. Um, so the information is there, like particularly seeing between the sixth and seventh dimension. Um, there's an interdimensional space. Uh, that um, she's saying some of you have put there to be used um, in the next couple of years uh, or retrieve it to make it available to um, others. 
um, information is stored and wired to be received through um, your light body and use through your light body and um, the uh, the upgrade to the nadial complex so the nadial complex is like uh, a neurological system of your light body and uh, it, it interfaces with our uh, physical body neuro neurological system so part of what um, in 2022 with this deeper uh, third eye activation and opening is that um, some of the star seeds will actually be able to to access information through um, micro fiber spaces within the folds of the brain so um, there's like quantum access points quantum access points um, through be, because of the way you're accessing um, the quantum field through this much more vast opening of uh, the mother arc that the inform the quantum information is um, available to you through literally the, the folds in um, your brain so uh, things will start to start to light up for more people uh, do you have anything else to to transmit um, I'm asking her if she's one of the founder founder races. Um, she's saying no. Um, she's more like a goddess, uh, um, a new a new entity um, uh, that has been um, created. To um, adapt the dimensionalized fields, and um, so she also has uh, she also has information to assist us in um, adapting our lower three lower three chakras. So that's going to continue to um, evolve. You know, this is also new. So, um, literally, like in the last ten days, um, drawing some of these things. 